When you think of the word overspending, what comes to mind? Shopping sprees on deals that you just can't pass up? That's one way for a wallet to bleed. But our next guest says we often throw away hundreds, even thousands of dollars a year without even realizing it. Tammy Ezer is from the website Comparisave.com. And this is such a timely, timely topic. Absolutely. Coming off of the holidays and the money that was spent and the Definitely. credit cards were used. Uh, tell me what the typical ways of overspending are. Basically ways, you know, people don't realize they're doing what they're doing. First and foremost, when it comes to credit cards, it's not paying it off in full. If you're just paying that minimum balance every month, you are paying hundreds and thousands of dollars in interest. Whatever you bought, that special deal you got on that pair of jeans, you're actually paying four times as much money when all is said and done because of all the interest. And people don't realize that. And no, if you don't. can't, if you never pay under the minimum, and if you can't pay more than the minimum, yeah. if you can't pay the whole thing In off, right? In a perfect world, you'd pay the entire thing. And sometimes what you can do on our site, we have some cards where you can transfer a balance mm -hmm. for an introductory low rate. So you can, it gives you a chance to sort of pay that that balance down um, and try and keep it as low as possible. And a lot of this comes down to research, right, Tammy? I mean, Absolutely. If you're interested in certain things like watching movies or traveling, there are cards that you can look at that you can get that will kind of combine your interests and give you some more bang for your buck. Absolutely. And sometimes there's cards where you're paying for a card. Figure out what you're paying for because sometimes you're paying for a service or a fee that you don't actually need. Now, what about mortgages? A lot of interest in mortgages. And, and, you know, when it's time for renewal, a lot of people, you know, the paperwork comes, you just sign on the dotted line, but you say no, look into the rate. Absolutely look into the rate. People do a lot of research the first time they're buying a house, but then, or when they're changing, and then the renewal papers come, like you said, and they don't, they don't do their due diligence. They don't research. It's, it only takes a few minutes to go online and check out the rate, um, and see if you can save that lots and lots of money. Interest rates are really low right now. Um, another really, really good way to save on a mortgage is to maybe do accelerated biweekly payments. You can pay maybe $2,300 more uh, a year in mortgage payments, but save like $55,000 over the course wow, of a mortgage. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yes. Just doing biweekly instead of monthly, you're exactly, saying. Exactly, exactly. There's a lot of tools and calculators on the website that can help you figure that out. Play around with the various different interest rates that are available and the different payment amounts and structures and the, the different terms and see how you can save some money. What about car insurance? I mean, it's something it's that, we, that we all need. It's a huge one. Uh, tell us about that and where people can save. What they might not be doing now that they should be doing. First and foremost, the most important thing to do is to actually just go online, spend a few minutes, and check your rate. The, inter the, the rates charged by different insurance companies can range by hundreds or even thousands of dollars for the exact same person driving the exact same car. And they change constantly. So it's a really good idea every year when the renewal comes through, and sometimes even in the middle, to check your rate and make sure that you're paying the lowest rate possible. Yeah, and I would think too, make sure you know how you're using that car. If you don't drive all the time, Absolutely. make sure that your insurance company knows exactly when you're using that car, how often you're using it, because that could mean some discounts as well. For sure, and make sure you're taking advantage of all the discounts. For example, some insurance companies give a discount for driving with winter tires. If you're not asking for the discounts, you might not be getting them. Why do you think Canadians aren't already aware of this? Are we just not doing our due diligence? Are we too trusting? Well, what's what's I the deal? I think there's a little bit of complacency. Mm -hmm. I think we do a lot of research. Like I said, when you buy a car, you do the research for the best price for the car and maybe for the best insurance. But then you're with a particular company and the renewal papers come in and you think, well, they gave me the best deal last time, so I'm probably getting the best deal now. And that's not necessarily and that's, the case. And that's three years later, probably four exactly. years later. And things change over time. So it's a really good idea with all the tools that are available online these days. Um, you can go to the website and very quickly check out whether or not you're getting the best rate and find out the best options for you. That kind of due diligence and research has to continue throughout the absolutely, process. Absolutely, absolutely. Just because it was the best best deal for you at the time doesn't mean it's the best deal now. Good to have you here. Thanks, Thanks so much, me. Tammy. Now